Thanks so much for joining us first at four. A lot to get to today. I'm Dan Spieler. Yeah, and I'm Nick McGill. A deadly shooting this morning on Indies near Southside is marking a deadly milestone. As Fox 59's Jesse Wells explains, less than halfway through the year, the city has now reached 100 total homicides. The 100th homicide victim of the year was found shot to death in the back door of this home here behind me. That number, while obviously disappointing, is down compared to the last couple of years. Answering a knock at the back door of a home here on South Meridian around 7 o'clock in the morning, witnesses claim a man inside the home told someone outside to go away. That request was quickly met with gunfire. The shooter fled while the 30-year-old victim died on scene, bringing the total number of homicides in 2024 to 100 and counting. 100 homicides is, is 100 too many. Any loss of life we take seriously. That's 100 families that are missing loved ones that are dealing with the aftermath. While they sympathize with every victim, IMPD insists total violent crime is down by double digits compared to last year. We have noticed a, 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 set, a steady decrease in our numbers. Uh, total violent crimes, total homicides, non-fatal shootings are all down. Uh, but again, there's a lot of work to be done. As these numbers show, 100 homicides on this same date is lower than the last four years, although the figure is significantly higher compared to the years prior to the pandemic. We've got to continue to do better, that we, we have a ton of work to do across the board. Reverend David Green with Concerned Clergy says homicides, like the one on Meridian, can't be prevented by IMPD alone because issues like poverty, housing instability, and easy access to illegal firearms drives a lot of violence. We still need innovative programs that we need to uh, support, put in place in order to address the problem. And ultimately, we do have to address the core issues. If we don't do that, things won't change. Finally, IMPD points out more than 20 of this year's homicides have been deemed non-criminal. Those include officer-involved shootings, cases of self-defense, or deaths that are otherwise justified under the law. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News.